What's up out there, everybody? If you can hear me, we'll wait for some people to join here. Do a little sharing. If you guys can hear me, if you can see me, let me know in the chat. How are you? Let me know how the volume level is on the music and the voice. If it's good, if you can hear me, if everything's good to go. All clear, good. So my voice is good with the level of the music and all that good stuff. Kyle, what's going on, buddy? I'm just doing some sharing on Facebook, guys. all set up here. What's going on, David? How are you? Just about done sharing. There we go. Hey, Flavio. What's going on, brother? How are you? So let's get started then. Um, Kyle says he's in uh, English class watching the live stream. Kyle, we appreciate it. Don't tell your teacher. We won't either. Um, so I've got a quad here. It is a R3 frame from Simple Motion RC. Um, and when I was out flying it the other day, I uh, landed and did not have any more communication with my Crossfire. So... Um, when I say that, the Crossfire is communicating, the Crossfire RX is communicating to the TX. I can see it in my transmitter, but I'm not seeing anything in the receiver tab of Betaflight. So, um, first thing I'm going to do is take off my props. Anytime we're working on the bench, we want to do that. We won't tell anybody, Kyle, don't worry. Hi Andy, how are you? I hope I got you a shout out there, but which one now? No points in blaming you, you did not know. Chris Brown, what's good, brother? How are you? So, I've got two possible solutions to this problem. Um, solution one would be, if I'm lucky, it'll just be the Nano, the TBS Nano receiver, but I have a strong suspicion that it's not the problem. I have a suspicion that the UARTs are gone out on the flight controller. I have tried to swap it over to a different UART um, and still was unable to get any communication. I figure before I go replacing the entire flight controller, I should at least hook up another Nano receiver and make sure that it's not the receiver, but... If I have to guess of a, uh, okay, I hear you, Kyle. If I have to guess of a problem is going to be with the RX or with the flight controller, my guess is going to be with the flight controller, to be honest. Haven't had a lot of problems out of the Crossfire RXs, so. Turned it down a little bit, Kyle. Let me know if that's better for you, buddy. See if maybe that's a little bit better. I turned it down even more, so let me know. Good to go. Hey, Lauren. How are you? Good to see you. Just working on a quadcopter here. 
my family from Canada. It's good to see you, Lauren. All right, so we got the props off. Let's get our soldering iron on, and I'm just going to go ahead and detach this um, Nano RX and then hook up a new one. Again, I don't think it's that that's the issue, but I would hate to replace the entire flight controller only to find out this RX still doesn't work. So I think it's probably a good decision to at least try it. Let me know if you're out there in uh, FPV land, if you've ever had one not communicate anymore. What solved your problem? Was it the RX or was it the flight controller? Kyle, let me know if that music level's a little better now, buddy. All right, so I've got the old Nano RX detached here. Go ahead and grab a new one. Guys, bear with me here. My mic makes it a little difficult to get in here and solder, so. So I've got the new Nano RX hooked up. Let's give it some, uh, get into the radio here and go to binding. See if we get some talking action. Update receiver, yes. As you see, we got a green light there on our Nano RX. So we're bound again with the new RX. Troy, um, we are using Restream.io. It's what's sending it out to the different YouTube channels and to Facebook all at once. Um, OBS is what software we're using for the main, I guess, hosting or whatever you want to call it. Let me know if that answers your questions, brother. Okay, so update receiver is good. I'm just going to let it sit. I don't know if anybody's had this happened in the past but I've noticed if you just let them hang out on update they will update it takes a little while but it'll do it RX is loaded there we go don't interrupt okay so that's all set up so let's hook the quad up to beta fly Okay, go in here on my ports and switch that to you back to UART 4. I, again, I had wired up the original RX to another UART, 
uh, just to check it. So we're gonna go back in here. And a receiver tab. Would you look at that? It is the RX. Wow. Well, guys, that was quick. Um, camera on the workbench, they are Logitech C920s. Um, not the, or no, excuse me, C920 or C922. You'll have to look that up. I think it's the 922, Troy. Um, very good cameras. They'll do HD 1080p at 60 frames, I believe. Um, not that we ever need 60 frames for this kind of thing, but that's why they look so good. So let me uh, try something real quick. I'm going to try to share this screen with you guys. Give me just a second. Do a display capture. Sure. That display there. All right, so it's not going to look pretty, guys. So, Travi, if you're watching, don't kill me for this. But um, I just want to show them real quick. This, we now have, uh, we now have communication. So... That solved the problem, guys, just swapping out the RX, and I'm very, very glad I did that. Um, it is the first time I've ever had a problem as well, David, with Crossfire. Uh, I, I may The problem may not be Crossfire, though. It may be that a wire's come disconnected in the harness, or maybe one of my solder joints wasn't good. I don't know. I'll take a look at that, and, um, you know, we'll check that out in the future. So, I guess I can disconnect this guy and work on actually buttoning it back up. Um, that was a much faster fix than I expected, so I do have a backup quad to work on, guys. And, oh, also, one thing I wanted to touch on, on the Crossfire, um, there's been an, an issue with some, um, of the new, I think it's the new Nano RXs, they will bind, but they won't communicate, and that's kind of similar to the problem I was having. But it, it's not due to a uh, loose wire or anything like that. And the fix for that is to update both the Crossfire, Nano, and make sure your TX is as well updated. And then you hard reset the Nano by holding the bind button for, I believe, it's 10 seconds on power up. Um, go to the back Black Sheep Lounge for a little more, um, you know, detail on that. I could be a little off on one of my specifics or whatnot. It was just something I saw quickly as I was browsing Facebook. Um, what's going on, John? How are you? Good to see you out there. Uh, if you guys will bear with me a second, I'll pop this guy off the bench. Which it looks like. Looks like I've got a frozen camera, guys. Let's see if I can fix that problem. Give me a second. We may lose something real quick, but we'll get it right back. Hopefully. Yeah, there we go. It's got a blue tint to it, but you guys handle it. So, there's the camera back. Give me two seconds, and I'll make it not look bad. There we go. Boom. Okay. So, I'm going to pull this guy off the bench, because I basically just now need to... Um, really fully pull this. I'm going to have to disconnect this from here and connect it there. So it's two options guys. I can either work on that. I can work on tightening this up uh, and getting it back to flying or I can replace an ESC in a smaller micro quad I've got. If you guys in the chat want to let me know what you'd rather see. If you don't care then I'll just finish this guy. Get it back in the air. This song, I love this song. I actually did a flight video to it not too long ago. Check that out on my YouTube channel, Shameless Plug. And if anybody is out there in La La Land needing repairs done, get at me at randomfpv at gmail. 
or on uh, Facebook and we will get you repaired and good going through the quad house. Official service provider for Amaton quads. Shameless, shameless. But guys, I'm really surprised that it was the um, the Nano RX here. And so I'm going to take a look at my wiring and stuff and see if we can't figure out what caused that. I wouldn't be surprised if I pull this shrink off if one of these leads comes out with it or something like that. I want to blame myself, guys. Oh, Chavez. He says he had an issue the other day. Crashed, so he swapped out the crossfire on a different quad, but they wouldn't reconnect, so reflash still had the same issue. I had to direct solder the antenna. Maybe I didn't do it right. Have you had a similar issue? Um, sorry. Oh, I probably screwed your name. It's Chivers, I believe. Sorry. Um, Chivers, this issue is kind of similar. Basically, it was working completely fine. It was flying completely fine. I've flown this quad probably 50, 60 packs. And when I landed, um, my Nano RX still showed bound, still a solid green light. I was able to see it in my transmitter um, under the Crossfire Lua scripts. But when I would go into Betaflight Lua scripts, um, I didn't have any telemetry functions and I wasn't able to get it to arm. Um, so I came home hooked the quad up to the computer, went into the RX tab in Betaflight, um, and was not getting any responses there. So I actually did desolder from UART4 and put it to UART1 um, and still didn't get a response. That's more than likely due to an inversion problem there. Uh, oh, no, wait, 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 wait. No, it wouldn't have mattered. I take that back. It would not have mattered because it was the, at that time, it was the RX that was the problem. So uh, let me take that back came home quad wasn't working I checked it in the RX tab in beta flight I wasn't getting any response so I switched it to a different UART I still wasn't getting any response um, my gut said replace the flight controller so that's what I was gonna do this morning but before I decided to replace the flight controller I thought maybe it'd be best to at least swap the uh, nano RX so I swapped the nano RX and it is now working um, so this is the first issue I've ever had out of a Nano RX, but again, I can't say that it's not a wiring problem. Maybe a wire got broke. I'm trying to look at them here. And I'm not really feeling any breaks in the wires, but I'll check continuity and all that good stuff here in a little bit. I'm pretty confident I can find the issue. Actually, I may see the issue right now. It looks like I might have a little bit of a, you know, like a solder hair, I like to call them. Maybe. I don't know if that's going to be enough to cause a problem or not. Anyhow, put a new RX on it and it's working now. Uh, Chivers, I don't know if that solved your problems. Did you had a crossfire, swapped it out. Wouldn't reconnect. Reflash, still the same issue. I can't say I've ever had anything where I had to direct solder an antenna on to get it to connect shivers that is definitely a little bit of a different problem hey Scott what's going on brother how are you if you guys will bear with me here I'm gonna pull this uh, I had this direct soldered for these um, VTX So we want to hook that back up so our Lewis scripts are working. You guys, give me just a second. I'm going to have to lean in here for this. Unless I just get lucky. You never know. Yeah, it's good to see you, Scott. Thanks for showing up and tuning in.
So yeah, anyway, like I was saying, I'm pretty surprised that that solved the problem, but I'm glad. Now I don't have to replace the entire flight controller. Um, I can just swap out the antenna here and leave the antenna on this quad that's um, already installed. Always get hesitant pulling these UFLs off. Yeah, Scott, everything's going good. I'm having some car problems. I uh, Over the weekend, I had to replace the um, alternator and a battery in my car. Uh, and now the car still has now another problem, so I don't know what's going on with it. Kind of stuck at the house right now, so that's no good. But otherwise, I'm doing pretty good. Thanks for asking, Scott. I hope everything's going good for you as well. Uh, ah, Shivers says, waiting for a new RX in post. Yeah, I would try it. Um, Shivers, I would try a new RX. It's what fixed my problem for sure, so I'm happy about that. All right, guys. So we got our problem solved up. I think uh, if nobody has any more questions or anything, I'm going to call it a day. We're just working on some short bench style streams. We want to do some work and uh, connect with the community and see if anybody's maybe had the similar issue or um, has any questions. That's what we're here for. So look for our stream. At least this particular bench stream is going to be Tuesdays around the 10 a.m. mark. Um, and again, probably just short 20, 30 minute stream. Nothing major, just short little repairs and things like that that we're working on on the bench. But we definitely appreciate everybody tuning in. Make sure you check out the Team Black Sheep Lounge Facebook group. Um, that's where you're going to get all the news on new TBS products, new ethics products, uh, announcements, all that good stuff. So check it out. Um, well, Chris, what happened? If, if you <laughs> want to try to troubleshoot my car, um, basically we were driving down the street and the car started dying. Uh, like the electrical system started dying. And so, um, I thought it was a battery. We got stuck on the side of the road. I went and got a new battery and it started the car, but the battery light was still on and I've got a little voltmeter on my stereo and, um, the car was not running at 14 volts like you're used to when it's running. So at that point I figured, okay, the alternator's bad as well. I replaced the alternator and then it did bump up to 14 volts at that point. Um, and it drove fine for two or three days. I went out last night. We've got some a property we're getting a new home put on, and um, I went out to the property. Maybe spent 10, 15 minutes looking around, and when I went to start the truck, it would not start. It sounded like it wanted to turn over, but it wouldn't. Um, almost like a dead battery. Tried to get a jump from a guy, didn't work. And the more we tried to turn it over, the just less it wanted to cooperate. So, I don't know, man. Hit me up, um, maybe outside of the stream, and, you know, we can talk about it. But, uh, Joe, dude, trust me, I wish I, wish I was lying. Um, that'd be great. Yeah, you know, that'd have a functioning vehicle. But, um, I don't know. My wife was turning it over, and I smelled something that smelled like burning electronics. It was getting dark, so I really didn't have the time... Um, I had my whole family there, so I had to worry about getting my family home and that kind of stuff. So uh, we took care of that all last night. My mom's going to come give me a lift out there at some point. We're going to take a look at it, and hopefully we'll be able to get it fixed. So that's where I'm at. But no big deal. It'll all work out. I got faith. Um, and speaking of, let me do something real quick. I want to try. Uh, I want to try something new, guys. with these streams. Bear with me one second. I'm going to turn the music down. Okay. There we go. So, here's what I want to talk about. Um, let's go to this. Let's just talk about motivations for a little bit today. Um, it's Tuesday. You know, you're, you're smack in the middle of, almost in the middle of your week. You're probably at work and not enjoying yourself, um, wishing you could be flying. So, I just want to give some positivity out there for everybody um, yeah it's Tuesday and yeah it's 10 in the morning and, you, and you're stuck at work and thanks for watching us but uh, you're gonna get to fly later you're gonna get to work on quads later we all love it we all share in this hobby together 
So from Team Black Sheep, we certainly hope you have fun flying, and that's what we're here for. We want to make the hobby fun. We want to get everybody excited. Um, bad earth check battery to chassis. That's that's a possibility, Chris. It definitely is. Thank you for that. Um, I've had a couple different people work on the car lately, and I did notice there was a, a ground that I could have possibly been disconnected, so I will check that. Thank you for the... I've also been told there's a fuse under the hood that could possibly be the problem, but... Anyway, I don't mean to be getting sidetracked. What I want to do is help motivate everybody. So, you may be like me, you know, I'm not having the best week in the world, um, but flying cures it all for me. I know when I do get a chance to go out and fly again, at least for the moments that I'm behind the goggles, everything goes away. And that's really, uh, I think, why we're all in this hobby together. So, sharing that with me and know that, look, things are going to look up. You're going to have the weekend coming. Um, let's just all have a good time so on that note I think I'm gonna call it a day on this stream I want to thank everybody for uh, coming and checking it out give some quick shouts to Edie Chris Scott Joe Oscar shivers got Troy in there I know you're still floating around uh, if I missed you if you're watching make sure you get in the chat and say hello so you can get a shout out or two and look for us here on the lounge the couch and on YouTube have a good day guys